Task complete. Dropship entering atmosphere. The of the Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of the revamp series where I'm taking previous models that I've done on the channel and I remodel them and improve upon them with a new style of design that I've been working on and without further ado we're going to get into the ground control one dropship revamp so looking back into the past I had that model as a reference and I also wanted to use that dropship in my universe as a heavyweight dropship that could carry vehicles and troops into combat and it was pretty cool and I actually had the ground control one artist who made the dropship actually comment on the video which just made me nerdgasm because I didn't think that you know that person would of all people I just wasn't expecting him to come in and actually see that so in a way this is well not in a way I mean this is paying tribute to that game because ground control and ground control ground, ground control 1 and ground control 2 really set just they just they set me off my on my, they set me off on my path to loving sci-fi and designing spacecraft and designing vehicles and futuristic vehicles you know and they just they helped me get to where i am today so i honestly i love i couldn't wait to get back and pay another tribute to this particular model so let's get into it oh wait just as a side note before i get into this the reason why i'm not showing the comparison of the old one that I have on the channel and this one is because of the flash drive corruption problem that I had which I could explain in some other videos so unfortunately that old model is lost so that is more of a reason why I had to redo this model so let's get into it so immediately we'll go into the dropship engines the hydraulic systems that I actually put a lot of effort into and the hangar bay doors and the ramps so from the get-go you can already see that I added some hydraulics to the engines so they actually look like they retract and deploy and then I have the uh, the thrust vectoring pieces here for the, the engines now, in the actual game, there are uh, two ex or actually there's three exhaust ports on the texture, but there are only two uh, engine pl uh, thrust plumes that come out of the engines. I imagine the third center one is probably an emergency backup one, but in this model, I have four exhaust ports for the engines, and I also added thrust vectoring details so the dropship can move forward and backwards. Just Oh, I just love adding that little detail, you know, just to make it as realistic as possible. And, you know, because they, I, essentially, I imagine they were uh, limited on the amount of detail they can put into the, the, the dropships and the other vehicles at the time because of, you know, computer hardware and stuff of that nature. This game came out, like, early 2000s, I believe. So, you know, being able to advance that model you know and actually add in that extra detail that they couldn't do at the time is just oh, it just feels so empowering and it just makes everything look so cool and realistic so i add that i added that i also added some rcs thrusters here so when the dropships engines are retracted it has some uh some more maneuverability and then i also have rcs thruster packs here on each side to help with the maneuverability so you know i really wanted to make this dropship look like it can function in space as well as on the ground you know you look at different uh artistic pieces such as like avatar or you look at aliens and stuff like that and you know i took a lot of inspiration from the 
those uh, sci sci-fi IPs and, and I implemented all of that knowledge into this dropship as well you know I even added like you know spotlights you know just that little bit uh, of realism so like when the dropship lands at night you know I even have like the uh, the uh, guide like the guidance lights or well, not they're not guidance lights but they're more like um, the I there's, I believe there's squadron lights, um, squadron navigation type lights. I, f I forget the actual proper terminology for them, but um, they're on fighter craft, and that's how they see each other in squadron formations and stuff like that at night. You know, and they aren't so bright to the point where they give away their positions. And I believe they can. Uh, I believe they can. Uh, they're not even electric. They they are. They're charged by sunlight, and then they glow at night. So, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. If that, uh, if I'm completely wrong, I might even look that up uh, and put it a little quote of <laughs> actual proper, uh, proper usage and proper functionality for those. But um, I even added those on here so the uh, the dropship can be seen at night by other air vehicles and squadron formations. Um, I even added them on the bottom of. The dropship here so I'll lift this up you guys can see it in its flight mode this is its flight mode and also can be uh, its landed mode as well but you can see I added the the lights here and then you have like the uh, the guide arrows here guide arrows the uh, caution arrows for which way the ramps are gonna move when the the dropship is in motion you know, and, oh, it's just this is so awesome. Just how much detail you can add. You know, just all the inspiration around that can just help you fuel the the amount of detail you can put onto these. You know, I'll even have like a uh, navigation lights and stuff on here. Oh my gosh, I just I love this model. This one was this one was honestly a, a pleasure design. I mean, all my models are a pleasure designing, but I mean it was such a pleasure just getting this one done and i really wanted to pay homage to uh ground control with this model so i went all out and i was not going to cheap out on this one um one thing i also wanted to note was that i added this engine pack on the back here this originally wasn't on the the dropship in ground control i added this one out of i felt necessity because the dropship um it only had you know these four engines here for landing and th that's fine you know but it didn't have any engines that i know of that propelled it forward so i was wondering okay well you know these engines also i see it lifted up help it lift up and you know reach atmosphere or break atmosphere but what if we just had an engine pack that helped it do that even better you know so the engines can just retract you know we have the main engines in the back here and that propels it you know in the direction that it needs to go so i was like yeah that'll work that's really cool you know it'll be a cool addition you know i just didn't want to leave this uh this section also kind of not detailed or i didn't know what to do with the detailing on that so i just added that instead and of course i have the um the the rear details with the wings here so that was let's love it let's love it now getting into the real nitty gritty part of this model and the part that took honestly the longest to get right. So when I was doing the landing gears and the ramps of the dropship, I wanted to make them as realistic as possible. So I went as far as to actually have each hydraulic have multiple cycles and they're actually measured out and everything to work in retracted and deployed mode so in retracted mode you see here don't though that's not how it would, I would actually be I don't know why I didn't I think for the sake of just uh, rendering I didn't put the, the the hydraulics in deployed mode here but inside the ramp here you can see the, the cycles here if 
for the hydraulics. So when they're in deployed mode, like over here, you know, everything is flush. So that just kind of goes to show, you know, the level of detail that I wanted to put into this model, you know, and then I even have hydraulic systems that move the, uh, the doors inward, you know, and then I have the, the ramps have like the, uh, this little seal here, this, uh, extrusion. And then I have this, uh, indent here. So we can have like a, a air seal tight, uh, air, airtight <laughs> English airtight seal for the compartment bay and this, ah, it's everything you know even um, put in the the caution the caution yellow strips around the the doors and then I have the uh, the locks labeled in red or, or covered in red here just for that level of detail and realism you know and then I have, uh, I even have like the locks here that, you know, that retract and then when the, uh, the doors come in and they lock in place, you know, they're even, they have like the even the indents in here too. Everything just, it just works with this. You know, I wanted everything to seem like it really worked. And then going into the cargo compartment here. The dropship can actually hold, I believe, four of the hover tanks here strapped down. Let's, come on, there we go. Right, yeah, let's try this. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, I don't think it can hold. It can hold uh, three of them side by side and then the fourth one if you turn it 90 degrees so it can hold a tank squad just like in the game oh my gosh you know that's something that i wanted to do as well i wanted to make sure that you know it could fit you know my vehicles and stuff like that and uh one thing that was um different than the game is that they can only hold um, a small squad of troops in the um, in the game but in this version I actually counted out and this dropship can hold an entire battalion of soldiers so that just kind of goes to show the kind of space that we're talking with this so uh, a vehicle squad of uh, four tanks or other vehicles, uh, it can hold the, uh, the hover cars that I have, which by the way, I need to make a, another hover scout vehicle, kind of similar to the Warthog or, you know, the MRAP or the Humvee or something of that sort. And that's another idea that I'm thinking about as I'm going through this, but you know, this, oh my gosh, it just, it works. You know, it just works and I am, really 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 happy with this and i hope that this makes the designers of ground control really happy you know that someone still plays their game and you know wants to add to that ip you know that intellectual property so thank you guys for coming out and experiencing this wonderful piece of art with me and Thank you again for uh, supporting the channel overall as well. I just want to give thanks to that because, you know, I've been fluctuating with, you know, my attention to this channel due to life stuff. And then, you know, so, you know, those who have stuck with me and still come and watch and still get inspired by my work, I really appreciate you. And in the next episode, we're going to be looking at the Zahara class assault ship. It used to be assault frigate. It's a salt ship now due to the revamp. And in the next, the next video, you'll see why. So definitely be looking out for that. Um, it may or may not come out today or tomorrow. We'll see uh, with this three-day weekend coming up. Um, I may do it tomorrow, may do it Sunday, depending on what I'm 
what the the plans are but um yeah but still definitely be looking out for that and i'll see you guys in the next one